In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to do a proper, more advanced noise reduction on the noisy footage. And before we start, I want to say special thank you to Raw Film for providing this fantastic footage for this tutorial. Make sure to check them out, link in the description below. Alright, here we are inside DaVinci Resolve and I'm going to show you really fantastic technique that you can use to basically clean up any footage. Now before you do it, it's recommended that you're actually working on the Rec. 709 or whatever your output is because when image is just in log right now, a lot of times you can't really see what's going on. So once you convert basically, once you give it a color and a contrast, in that case you can see much better what the hell is going on and go back and fix it. So again, we're working from with the shot from raw film over here and I'm going to convert it into nice cinematic rec 709. I'm going to do IPP2, red, white gamut, red lock film. Okay. That's going to be my settings. And to convert it, I'm going to use my lot that I just released film lot boom and right away we have very nice starting point now i'm gonna do another node let's do vector scope really quick and i'm gonna adjust a little bit kind of a neutral white point make it a little bit cinematic all right perfect so here we have it ready to roll now when i zoom in i can see there is a lot of crazy noise going on right over here now we can finally see the first thing we need to do is get rid of the chroma noise because chroma noise is really annoying chroma noise is very simple spatial threshold you un uh, ungang them and just increase chroma to about 10 or 15 don't go too much because you may affect actual colors okay so that takes care of the chroma noise let me show you right away before and after huge difference now the actual problem the actual problem we have is with aluminoids and we can see it's very pronounced very annoying so here's the solution and by the way what i'm going to show you is more like a higher end noise reduction if you have a weak computer it probably will make your computer stall this technique is for really beefed up systems that completely powered you know with the tons of ram great graphics card stuff like that so i pushed alt y and i basically created separate rgb if you don't know how to do this go to the color let's see da -da 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 -da. notes and let's see alt y there we go at splitter combiner and it creates separate RGB. We can see red, green, blue. And let me label them for you. Okay, green and blue. So now we have our shot basically split into three different channels that being combined together, creating a nice RGB image. Okay, so what I'm gonna do I'm going to start cleaning each channel individually. So I'm going to go to open effects and I'm going to use neat video. Neat video is external plugin. Unfortunately, the built-in DaVinci Resolve plugin is not accurate and not powerful. So therefore it can't really do that good of a job. Thing is, you need to know, when you apply this plugin, find a spot on your shot that doesn't have any movement, doesn't have any kind of crazy fine detail, something that solid single color, kind of like corner over here, that would be perfect. Okay, click auto profile, auto tune, and apply. And we can see right away before and after. We can see how great difference 
this thing makes before and after and we can see that it doesn't affect the quality of the image so that was the red channel let's go to the green channel I'm gonna do the same thing okay same corner like that auto profile auto tune apply again I'm doing a little bit quick and dirty if you spend a little bit more time you probably can get slightly better result but neat video works fantastically in automatic mode and by the way this is not any kind of advertisement I've been using neat video for my personal work for years now so finally we're gonna do the same thing with the blue channel okay just like this and again we can see blue channel clean green channel clean it's all good so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna exit RGB and prepare for your computer to start going really really crazy because it's gonna take a lot of processing juice to start calculating all this right click create compound node there we have it and I'm gonna call this one oops what did I do right click create compound right click node label and our noise reduction and basically we cleaned up our shot very good as you can see the you know this thing is <laughs> practically unusable at this point even though I have very very beefy computer when you do three neat videos basically on one shot that's what you get unfortunately that's why you turn on render caching if you don't know how to do render caching I have the video I'm gonna post it in the cards above okay so here we have it here is the guy let's focus on his back really quick I'm gonna turn it off okay let's wait a second and we're gonna see there we go see how much grain and noise on his skin we can see it in the arm once I turn it on it's gonna be much much cleaner give it a second to start calculating all that information the Vinci Resolve bug and here we have it very nice and clean so this is the higher end technique for reducing noise it's obviously very depending on you <laughs> demanding on your computer so when you do that keep in mind if you have a long project it would be better off for you just to render that clip and then paste it instead of the original clip that way your whole system not going to be going crazy once you're working thank you guys for watching be sure to check out rmk.us for downloadable content and i will see you guys soon take care